Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Color Club Poptastic Neon Pastel Neon Water Marble. <laughs> I've started off with Neltique's Formula 2 and as my base color I'm using this um, Color Club. It's a hollow. Doesn't really, you know, match it or anything, but instead of doing a white I decided to go with a silvery hollow. Love, love, love the Color Club Hollows. They are gorgeous. Hi Woody, how you doing? So there we go with the first coat and I'm going to go on and do a second coat. It's gorgeous and the camera just never gives this one justice. Absolutely beautiful. And I love using these because they dry really fast and if you're in a really bad hurry you can do one coat and go. I'll be using the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat to seal this in and dry it down so we can get to some water marbling. And today I'll be doing two fingers per dip. I know it's a little, little, little sketchy there but we'll see. <laughs> there we go capping my free edge. I've got my fingers mostly ready. I'm going to go in. I'm going to do like Colette from My Little Simple Pleasures has been doing. And I'm going to use tape and latex. I just thought I'd give this a try. Kind of, you know, a little bit of the old school and new, new school together. So I put the tape around the tip of my finger and then I'm going to use the latex for right up here around that curved cuticle area. and making a mess with the latex down here. Um, saves on latex, keeps my fingers from sticking together, so so far I'm liking it. It's a little different. I do have a regular little bathroom cup full of room temperature water. I've dropped my first drop in and I've gone around the cup to make sure it spreads all the way to the edge. I am going to do two drops of each color. I couldn't pick just two or three colors from this collection to do, so I just decided to go ahead and do them all. Just try all of them. And I know with my nails being shorter, it was going to be kind of a stretch to, you know, get them all covered, but uh, with the colors, you know, to have each color on all my nails, but, you know, it's, it's all right. I'm turning that cup to kind of make that center pop open a little bit more so I can add more drops and I am going to be doing quite a bit of spinning. These do water marble really well especially for being pastel neons but um, they you know they get a little stubborn towards you know after a certain number of rings so that's why I'm turning that cup. I just keep turning it it opens that center up a little bit more. And you can jiggle it or tap on the side of it, you know, just whatever works for you. There we go. I've got a beautiful bullseye built, and we're going to go ahead and go in and draw just a normal eight petal, I think it's eight petal flower design. I pull from either side and then dip down to kind of anchor it. I am wiping my little tool off on my paper towel between every couple of strokes. And this one is just so pretty. These colors are just gorgeous. I love them. I'm so glad it's spring and I can play with them. <clears throat> Here we go. We're going to try to line up and my hand's going to be all up in the way, but everybody has wanted to see, not everybody, a lot of people have wanted to see me dip more than one finger. Um, I don't do it very often, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'll tell you why. It's because I like getting exactly what part of the design I want on my nail, and when you dip two fingers, it's a little harder to do that, especially in a little cup like this. I could use a bigger cup, but then I would use more polish, and I just... I don't know. I just think the payoff is better when you dip one finger at a time or just do an accent nail if you're worried about waste. So there we go. Got those two done. Move that cup out of the way and I'm going to peel off this tape and 
hopefully most of the latex. I didn't get all of it. I got most of it. And I'm going to use that little tool to go around and break the seal on that one because I could tell it was connected very well. So there we go. So there we have that. And I'm going to do the same process again for my other two fingers. I did my thumb separately. It was my test nail <laughs> before I got on camera. I tested it all, all this out on my thumb because um, I don't have a lot of time for like testing on pop sticks or whatever. I just I just sit down and play. Uh, I don't spend a lot of time putting a lot of thought or whatever into it. I just sit down and start playing with stuff I see in my head. I feel like I play with it enough in my head to, you know, to get away with some of them. <laughs> and you see, I am tapping on the cup that way, but I'm going to go back to the turning. I think that seems to be opening these up a little better. Just give that cup a little twirl and a little tap. <clears throat> These are gorgeous polishes. I do believe my friend Jana Rose turned me on to these last year. She wanted to see me use them in something, and I did, but since I still have them, I thought I would break them out and play again. I do think that putting the silver hollow underneath helps the colors pop without it being that white, because you know, normally you want a white undie for a lot of neons, even pastel neons. But I just, I wasn't in the mood for dealing with white cream polish, so I went with that silver. You can't see any hollow peeking through it or anything, but I think it still does well. So here we go. We're going to dip those other two nails, line it up the best you can, and dip down. Removing all that excess off the top real quick. Well, I say real quick, as quick as I can. And I'm just using the water marble tool for that. I will show you here in just a little bit how I clean this water marble tool. I did have someone ask me before, so I will show y'all how I do it. So there we go, get that cup out of the way again. I'm gonna run around the edge and break that seal on both of these because it looks like there's spots that are connected. Okay, now this one I've gotten polish all over it, so I'm gonna break out my tweezers and grab it <laughs> for removal. I've got more stuck. Okay, we're going to have to get that off of there. Sorry, I'm out of frame. I'm fighting with the latex. It's latex wars here, y'all. So here we go. We're going to peel that one off, too. And I was so looking forward to doing a water marble. So there it is. Okay, I'm going to dip my Q-tip down in some acetone, and I'm just cleaning that off, and I'll wipe it off on a paper towel and put it back in the drawer for next time. I am using this Q-tip also for getting up under my nails, right there on that little edge right there, because that is the place I always forget to clean. If I forget anything, that's the spot, and then later I'll realize it. So there's my thumb. i got a great big bubble on it, so I'm trying to push it down. But I'm going to go in with my acetone and clean up brush and clean up around where the latex and tape didn't cover. I'm trying to be very careful because I don't want to uh, take too much off. Because we are not starting this process over. Here we go. You can see I'm gently getting up in there near my cuticles and close as I can to that nail. And the polish. Got a little bit of latex still lingering. Hopefully I can get it off with the brush. Oh, got a little bit more under my finger here. So there we go. I'm going to top this one with posh top coat. <clears throat> now as you can see the design on um, my ring finger, I pretty much nailed it spot on. It's, it's got a lot of the flower, but the pinky just has a little bit of it because of the way I dipped two nails. I could have got a better look on that nail if I'd have done it singly, but you know, it's all good. But there it is. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. 
I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.